Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to look at standard deviation and creating a curved or bell chart. So first of all, on this sheet, I have a table, which is formatted as a table. So I've used this feature, formatted as a table. And if I go to table design, you can see that it's got a name, table one. You can change that if you want. Now I'm gonna do these. These are the functions I'm going to look at, and I'm also gonna do a filter. So standard deviation population, that is the deviation of the whole population. So start typing equals, start typing ST, and you have it there with a little dot P. So that's what it used to be in the old versions of Excel. That's what the triangle means. It's being superseded with this. So you just double click on that. So simple list. What is the deviation in these ages? Click the tick and it gives you a figure. Now the sample option is where you can just pick individual cells from this list. So in this example, I want to look at the females. So this is a long way around of doing it. So I'll just show you, so just type it again. So this is the sample. Now I want all the females. So I'll click on that one, hold my control key down and just click on all the females. Hopefully I don't miss any out. And then I could have highlighted those three, but you get the idea. This That could be a very long process, get the right answer there. So what I thought about doing was maybe use the filter function, which is a fairly new function, just to give me the females. Because when you do a filter from here, the standard deviation population doesn't work. It picks up the whole range and not what I've just done there, the individual ones. So now if I use the filter function, so equals filter, open the bracket. So the, the table is the array, comma. I want the gender column. And then that needs to equal what I've got selected there, M. Close the bracket on that, click the tick. So that's the males, but I want females. So I'll just put F in there. Now that's the female. So I can do the equal standard popular uh, sample here and just select the females. Gives me the figure, the same figure, but I didn't have to manually select all of that. And quickly, I can just type male in there and it gives me the deviation for the males. Now, obviously, you probably do a data validation drop down list there so it doesn't keep picking up these or move it away so the, the formula is not sitting directly under that because that is slightly irritating that it keeps doing that. That. So that's that one. And then mean is just the average. I want the average. So equals average of that list. And mode is. Well, let's just type what mode is. Mode is an old function as well, but um, if I go back one, you can see you've got mode, multi multiple language, and singular, or multiple. Singular is one I want, but that's the old one. I'll go for this one. Same thing. It's going to give you the most common occurrence. 44. So the age 44, three of them there. Look, it's the most common occurrence. So that's standard deviation, sample and population, mean and mode. Now, if I go onto the next sheet, the curve, we can have a look at how you can create a normal distribution curve. So I've got the formula already pasted there so you can see what we're going to do. So here's my list of ages. So the standard deviation is seven and the mean, the average is 60. So the average age is 60. So what you have to do is you have to create a numbered list of three standard deviations below and above the mean. So I've come down to 39 because 21 is three of them. So down to 39 and then up to 81. So 60 there is the mean. So three standard deviations below and three standard deviations above. And then I can type this formula, normal distribution. So it's equals norm that one x is 
this first cell, comma. So the mean is this cell, and I need to dollar sign that because I'm going to pull it down, comma. Standard deviation is that cell. And again, I'm going to dollar sign that. And then cumulative wants to be false. Close the bracket, click the tick, and then double click that down. And that is how you do that. Now to do the graph, I just basically need to highlight this data all the way down, go on to insert recommended charts and it comes up with this one straight off or oh, that one I'll go for this one okay so there's your graph push that up a little bit now if you need to change the uh, scale on this you can just double click on that and change the minimum from 0 to 30 let's go for 30 the maximum can stay where it is and that just moves that across a little bit but that's all i want to talk about in this little session so hopefully you enjoyed that and thank you for your time